Hello, I'm Adele, an Education Advisor for Yorkshire Water and today we're going to talk about waste water. When we flush the toilet, pull the plug out of the bath or sink, all that dirty water together with water from factories, from schools and in some cases water runoff from the roads when it's been raining heavily is collected. That untreated or raw sewage enters a waste pipe then goes down a drain, the drains join up to form sewers and the larger sewers are called trunk sewers. This network of pipes are called the sewerage system. We've got 20,000 miles of pipe work. Our sewers vary in size from 100 millimetres wide right up to something as large as 5.5 metres which is large enough to drive a double-decker bus through. In here we've got an example of what shouldn't be put down the toilet or the sink and also there's also a, a, an example of a good sewer. So let's roll this round and I'm going to show you first of all the bad sewer. So I'm going to bring it forward. Sometimes people use the toilet as a rubbish bin flushing nappies, wipes, cotton buds, tea bags, plastic, and as you can see, even Lego. Down the sink, sometimes people put fats, oils and grease. We call this fog. You may have heard of fatbergs. If you look on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see what happens to the fog in the sewers. All these items can cause blockages, and instead of the dirty water getting away to our wastewater treatment works, it comes back up the toilet and sink, and yuck, that is a horrible job for somebody to clean up. Let's look at a good sewer. When we flush the toilet, we use approximately six litres of water. The only things that should be flushed down the toilet are the three P's, pee, poo and toilet paper. So we all know about wet wipes um, or baby wipes. And we're going to think a little bit about how we can dispose of these, these wet wipes. And to do this a little experiment, I'm going to put a wet wipe into this container here and some toilet paper. So here's the roll of toilet, uh, roll of toilet paper. And I'm going to put this amount of toilet paper into this jar here and mix them all up. Now, first of all, I'm going to mix up the one with the uh, wet wipes. And so to give it a really good shake here, mixing it all up together. Imagine somebody had used the toilet as a rubbish bin and put a wet wipe down there. You're mixing it up like this. Here we've got water and um, toilet paper. So we'll just move that to the side and mix this one up quite vigorously. If we stop there, if we can see what's happened to the toilet paper, it's disintegrated, hasn't it? It's broken down. And so it's absolutely fine to put down the toilet. Let's have a look at the wet wipe. The wet wipe, if I can get a finger in here, get it out, has exactly stayed the same. And that would then block all the pipes and cause some problems in the sewers. So please put the wipes in the bin. Eventually, all this waste water is then sent to one of our 600 wastewater treatment works to be safely cleaned and then put back into the environment. For more information about wastewater and water treatment processes, please have a look at our other videos on social media. Thank you.